All right, guys, what's going on? DJ has here. Wanted to show you guys this video for your guys' sake, more or less, because this is going to show you guys how uh, the the creative class works in Black Ops 2, and just give you guys kind of my input on it from what I know as, as of right now. Obviously, the game's not out yet, uh, so when it comes out, we'll probably know a lot more. Um, but I wanted to, to go over this because the point system to me was a little bit confusing with creative class. I didn't understand how everything worked. I didn't know if guns were worth more points than attachments because in my mind, like I think about it, I'm like, I would think a gun would be worth twice as many points, if not more, than an attachment. But uh, forget all of that. The bottom line is is uh, there's you get 10 points that you can uh, um, allot to different things. And I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. If you guys like this uh, this screen that you guys are looking at, go to this site in the description, and you can actually create your own classes from this site. It's really neat, and uh, I found it very helpful for myself and when I was trying to actually uh, do this create a class sort of thing. So I want to show you guys... The first one, this is going to be the class that I'm going to probably be using as my primary. And um, you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, th they have it set up so it's 0 of 10 left. Basically, that means I have all 10 of my um, points used up. So first and foremost, the bottom, you can see UAV, Lightning Strike, and K9 Unit. Those are my score streaks. Those have nothing to do with your points. So just so you know, obviously, you just select your three that doesn't use any any other points for that stuff. Um, wild card and all that stuff, I'll explain here in a second. But, but basically, you get 10 points, and the gun counts as one point, any attachments counts as an additional point, and uh, the secondary counts as a point, any attachments counts as a second, uh, you know, an extra point. Everything counts as a point. So you can see, if you count all the items on the screen, you'll count five on the right-hand side, hardline, toughness, dexterity, semtex, and then sensor grenade, and then you'll see five on the on kind of the, the right side, the MTAR, quick draw, fast mag, the, the B23R, fast mag and that is the five for the gun so basically you can break it down any which way you want if I want to go ahead and have just the the MTAR and no attachments that frees up two points for for another thing so I can add a second attachment to my my pistol or I can add um, well I can't I can add a second perk if I don't want to have any of the either of the attachments so this is the caveat and this is a tricky part when you use a wild card and basically wild card is a slot that allows you to either have an extra attachment or an extra perk or an extra grenade or um, a sensor grenade or whatever th those ones are. Well, actually, the sensor grenades aren't available in that. Whatever ones uh, are in that category that is an actual grenade form, uh, such as like a smoke grenade or something like that, it will give you an extra one of those. But it, the, the problem is if you, have, if you use it as a wild card, it actually counts as one point when you say, I'm using the wild card, and then it counts as another point when you say let's use it as the per uh, one slot, so so it counts as two points. So in order to have two perk one um, items, you have to use two points uh, from the wild card and from the second perk. So it, you really have to. It really makes you think. Like shoot, if I if I use um, like a second perk for for two different things, I mean you might as well not have a secondary or any grenades because you're not going to be able to do anything else. It will use. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would use six uh, points just for two perks uh, in two different slots. So kind of keep that in mind, I guess, when you're thinking about that. And that was one thing, again, that, that was totally – I thought if you used a wild card, then it would automatically give you the second perk for free because you use a wild card slot. But it actually makes you think a lot more when, when you have it laid out like this. Um, the other thing that I like is that the attachments on the guns now are like like – Quick draws is an attachment. It's not a perk anymore. There's no pro perks anymore. So the, a lot of the attachments um, kind of make up for some of the perks, like steady aim, the the fast reloading one, quick draw. Those are all kind of things that that um, are kind of replacing the the perks. And I like the way that they're going away from perks controlling the game. I mean, it, in any situation, there's you're going to have an overpowered gun or, or an overpowered this or that. But when you have like the specific perks combinations that we've seen in the past. Obviously, Assassin was hugely overpowered in Modern Warfare 2, and anybody that doesn't agree, I don't know what to say, because the advanced UAV wouldn't show you. Um, like, like Ghost was a problem, but I think Assassin was way worse, in my opinion. They've solved that problem in Black Ops 2, to the point where if you have Ghost on and you sit in one corner, you're not going to be able... You're, you're going to be um, seen on the radar if you sit in one spot too long. So, I like the idea that they've changed it up. I like the idea that um, you can... You cannot be seen by 
like enemy air air support or whatever like but then if it's it's if it's like human controlled you could be seen so you, you actually have to use a separate perk for that and i did a perk analysis in the, in the other video um if you guys haven't seen that one it will break that down a little bit more but all in all i i just want to say that i think that the balance of this game looks like it's there where people aren't going to be focused on the perks so much and it will be more focused on gun to, um gun on gun combat and I think that the point system too for the kill streaks is actually a huge uh, um, plus as well because you get a lot of points for playing the objective. You get points for capping a flag and you get points for killing somebody on the flag um, or that's trying to cap, cap a flag or whatever it may be. But you get a lot more points from those sort of sorts of things and they build on the kill streaks. And I even heard um, the UAV. Obviously, you guys have probably heard this as well. The UAV when you call in a UAV and, and somebody get kills somebody that was spotted on a UAV, you actually get some points for that as well. So really neat uh, idea that you are able to kind of share some of the, the wealth with, with the points and hopefully you'll get some kill streaks up and and, uh, and hopefully it will just be a fast-paced game where we're, we're running and gunning and the map sizes will be will be uh, like good enough size. Like Black, Black Ops to me was a joke because the size of the maps – were so large for every DLC map that came out. They were so large that they didn't have any more firing range type maps that, that uh, were brought in, which was kind of a bummer. Anyway, this is another class setup, and I've shown this in, in all the other ones. These are just a, a rough example of, of some of the classes that I'm going to be using, and this is going to be one for my anti-air support. That's why I have Blind Eye on there and uh, Cold Blooded and Hardwired. So so Blind Eye and Hardwired were the ones that used to be um, just Blind Eye in the past, and now that's it's two separate perks. So kind of like the way that they did that. This is, again, my knife-only um, kind of perk class setup, and I've used the, the 10 points. The problem is I have an extra point left over, if you notice in the upper left-hand corner. I didn't know what to use it with when I'm trying to use a, a knife-only. I couldn't use it for an extra grenade because it wouldn't let me have a combat um, axe if I used it. I couldn't use it for an extra perk because the wild card, it would take one point and then the perk would have take two. So I, I don't know what to do if you're just doing strictly knife only. Um, kind of a pain, I guess, uh, at that point. But this is going to be my uh, my PTFO class that I keep saying, the, the play the objective, play the F and objective class. Uh, and you can see the, the score streaks at the bottom that I have selected. But I think this is going to be a good one for those people with flak, uh, flak jacket and Attack mask, and um, I think that that will be pretty helpful. Extended clip, uh, so you can just spray and spray, hopefully. And hardline, because you might as well get extra points if you're going to be capping and playing uh, the objective. And then these are the the score streaks, so you guys can just see them here. Figure I'd show you guys all the score streaks and leave you guys this uh, for the end of the video. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I helped uh, explain the creative class a little bit to you guys. I know it's a little bit confusing to myself. Um, looking forward to when the game comes out. I'm definitely going to be having a lot of content on Black Ops 2 multiplayer as well as zombies. And uh, I don't know. I'm getting excited, man. I'm, I'm hoping this this is uh, everything that that I'm hearing it is uh, with uh, the fast-paced action. And uh, we'll have a good one. We'll catch you guys later.